Hi, so I wanted to kind of just follow up as to where things are now that I've had rotator cuff surgery in October. It is now is it March, so we're I'm almost what, five months out. So I just wanted to touch bases where I'm at, how I'm doing this far along, um, what I can and can't do, how things have been going. So when it comes to actual movement, I'll show you. Getting there, right? Starting to move. I had it on my left arm, my left dominant arm. So, made it a little difficult at times because I couldn't even shower, couldn't wipe myself, couldn't do anything. Made it real difficult. Um, can I put my arm behind my back? Not completely. I mean, there's some movement I can bring it forward. I mean, I can kind of do a cursive Y. Definitely can't do like a soccer goal um, through my arm. Move. I'm bringing it around. Um, can't bring it very far back, as you can see. It doesn't go far back. Um, so physical therapy this week because I'm supposed to go back to actually work work as opposed to working remote. Um, I'm still going to be working remote just because I can't lift uh, the 10 pounds required. It seems minor, right? 10 pounds, you're like, that's a bag of potatoes. Can't lift it. Like I went this week to physical therapy. I'm supposed to go back because I hate being a receptionist all day. Like I would love to, you know, have a little variety in my life. And being the chat person, so I answer phones when people, you know, come on chat and ask questions. You know, when you go to a website and it says talk to someone live now or chat with someone, that's me. So that's what I do all day long. So, um, because I can type, type my, just my little fingers back and forth, no problem. So, um, want to go back. So I have to hit the 10 pounds. So we tried it. I did a lot of 10 pounds, lifting boxes, lifting hand weights, um, even did some pulling with 10 pounds. Um, actually I did really well up until I hit the 10 pounds. Once I hit the 10 pounds, and it was with two hands, mind you, so most of it was on my right arm anyways. Um, it started getting tight, it got swollen, it got hot. I had to ice it the whole day and I couldn't even sleep on it at night. So that caused problems for me. So, um, it's still kind of really tender. It's been two days. So I'd come home back on the ibuprofen, back on painkillers. Um, so I emailed my doctor and said, okay, not quite a 10. Seven, I did okay. I think I can probably do seven, but on a re regular basis, like if I'm on the workplace and I'm having to lift seven pounds, I can do it for a little while. I won't be able to do it for eight hours. And I don't usually lift eight pounds frequently, but just in case I have to, I'm not going to be able to. So he gave me another note. Um, I tell him hopefully at the next physical therapy, I hope to be at 10 pounds. That's my goal. Um, so we'll see. But I just want to let you know. I'm now, I had it October 25th, today is what, March 18th, 19th, um, I've been doing my physical therapy pretty much every two weeks, very costly, it does add up, but I'm getting a lot of my movement back, I still have a lot of pain occasionally, um, there's, I do, it does pop, not as much as it did when, the first couple months, up until about a month ago, I was still doing a lot of popping, um, I can usually sleep on, I'm a side sleeper, so I can most of the time, except <laughs> physical therapy days. Um, I can't sleep on my left side. All the other days, I'm just fine. I can sleep on my left side. Um, I still have a hard time taking off clothes. Um, anything that has to go over my head or my neck, I'm still feeling the pain. Um, I still kind of want to scream or make funny faces when I feel the pain when I'm pulling something off of my arm. So I do still feel the pain. I still feel the stretching. Um, but other than that, it's going. I'm, you know, able to do other things. I'm still able to move as long as it's not frequently and it's not consistently over 10 pounds or over seven. I seem to be seven. Okay. Five to seven, I guess is a better way of putting it. Um, it can take up to a year. My aunt said hers took over a year before she was able to get full movement back. So I'm hoping this thing starts moving here better. Um, my coworkers at work are like, yeah, we're going to have you do the YMCA. We're all going to sit there and, you know, do something fun at work. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to be the A because that's about all I can do. So I'm just keeping it positive. You know, I definitely am not going to be the Y. That's just what they say I'd be really good at, but I definitely can't do it. But I wanted to let you know where I'm at, how it's going. Um, I'm Like I said, I've been off painkillers forever other than physical therapy days. I do push myself. Um, I try to do my exercises every day. Um, there's still a lot of things that I do when I'm in pain um, to kind of help relieve it. So, um, we do a lot of your minor stretchings and stuff to help kind of with some of the pain. And then there's other days where I still catch myself, especially on the weekends where I have it in 
what they call the broken bird, broken bird wing uh, position. So I have it as if it was still in my sling, like I did the first couple weeks. So I'm walking around with it in my sling because I'm so scared it's going to hurt or it does hurt. So those are some of the things that I've noticed. Um, but I do it, I think, as a precautionary just because it is hurting and to protect myself and to keep it from getting hurt again by overstretching it. But other than that, I'm moving. I'm trying to do everything as normal as I can, I'm trying to get back to my regular life so I can hopefully not injure the other side. <laughs> but that's where I'm at. I hope you're doing well and I hope you continue to get better as well.